I think this weather. Well, you guys won't agree. This weather is not nice, especially what's coming Friday into Saturday. We've got some snow on the way and it will be accumulating. So a couple of doses of precipitation coming in Friday into Saturday and then a few more chances for rain come Wednesday, but that's just rain, not talking about any snow uh, by that point. But we will continue to watch this system as an area of low pressure forms to the south, slides to the north and becomes a strong nor'easter. We just updated this snow map myself and Steve. Steve Stewart has he's been working on this too. Just a dusting of snow accumulating for the sand hills and then basically from the triangle through Goldsboro kind of extending into parts of I 85 up to one inch of snow. But another band of snow is going to come through throughout the night Friday into Saturday morning. So one to two inches of snow as you go off toward the triad. Then for areas northeast of the triangle, one to two inches of snow from Lewisburg extending into Tarboro. Then from Roanoke Rapids and areas north and east. That's where you have the best chance of of seeing even more than two inches of snow for the highest amounts of accumulation. Overall, generally a dusting to two inches of snow across the region. Right now, air temperatures in the teens and 20s. It's 16 degrees in Roxboro, the same in Oxford, 22 at RDU International, but feeling like we're in the teens there. 20 in Chapel Hill. Slide to the south, it's 21 in Sanford, 23 Fayetteville, and 26 degrees out your door in Clinton. As you're walking the pups this morning, a sunny start to the day, but a cold start too, so bundle up and keep the layers with you even as we go throughout the day. Today will be a tad bit warmer, but still, you'll want to stay layered up. By 10 a.m., it's 32 degrees. That's when we get to the freezing mark and then by 12 noon 38. Then for this afternoon, wall to wall sunshine, a slice of nice, nice and pleasant today. We should be in the low 50s, but instead highs in the low to upper 40s, 42 Roxborough, 45 in the Triangle and 47 degrees in Fayetteville. Then tonight, partly cloudy, still chilly. Winds are going to be calm across the region with overnight lows in the low to mid 20s for everybody. So again, bundle up. It's not going to be as cold tonight as it was tonight into this morning, but still you'll want to make sure that you're warm. Then come Friday, we're watching an area of low pressure to the south that'll slide to the north, giving us rain first and then some snow, light snow in the overnight hours, Friday night into Saturday morning. Saturday, even as the system departs, we'll be under a partly sunny sky by the afternoon, but winds are going to be kicking out of the northwest anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusting as high as 30 miles per hour. And then we'll watch the system become a strong nor'easter, and that will provide a foot or more of snow to parts of the northeast and especially so for parts of New England. By 4 o'clock in the afternoon, here's first alert predictor, our forecast model. We'll time it out hour by hour. A few showers, it's not picking up on it all completely well, but most of tomorrow is going to be dry. It's tomorrow night when we start to see some rain and then a quick transition over to light snow. Here's midnight with light snow from Roxborough through Burlington off into Siler City. Overnight, we're all getting in on the light snow action across the region. So if you want to get those snow photos in, try to get it in around midnight or overnight into early Saturday morning. Here's 5 a.m. with light snow across the region. Then by 10, 1030, the snow's out of here. The sun is coming out, but winds are going to start to kick up. So it's going to be a breezy day and feeling very cool. Seven day forecast powered by AccuWeather 45 for tomorrow for today, 48 for tomorrow. Then for Saturday, 35, but feeling like we're in the 20s, 17 degrees for Sunday morning. We'll have to watch for black ice. 42 on Sunday into the 50s Monday and Tuesday as we start February on Tuesday, 60s on Wednesday. Let's